Hi, I'm Rosepels1984. Welcome to my Liquid Story Binder Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you a brand new feature in the Liquid Story Binder program called Contrast. I'm just going to jump in to the creation of my contrast menu and entitle it Character Contrast because I'm going to show some basic features that um, you can use with the contrast feature um, with respect to my story, The Dark Jumper. As you can see, many of the menu options within the contrast mode do not differ from other modes within the program, but I'm going to show you a few key differences and how you can make it work best for you. Note that this is not a comprehensive tutorial, but it does show you the basic features of the contrast uh, mode of the program. So at the bottom of the screen you see four text box in which you can enter data. The first text box on either side is the name of the file, the characters, or whatever you're using in your main contrast um, to type into the program. The bottom two text boxes are descriptions to go with those particular um, contrasts. You can use it for anything that you want, but in for the purposes of this tutorial I'm showing you the contrast between the characters um, in my story, The Dark Jumpers. The next thing I want to show you in the contrast mode of the program is how to toggle your viewpoint of the list of items in your display menu. So basically you would go to your file menu or you could go to the side panel and choose view mode and toggle between three different um, modes within the window. This function is not only aesthetic, but it also allows an easy way for you to look at the items that you've typed, entered in, and compare and contrast between each of the entries. To show you the items menu and how it differs from other modes of the program, you can add new items, delete items, move items up and down, but you can also swap items and you can um, duplicate and sort items at your leisure. The swap items menu just allows you to toggle between the entries that you typed in left or right however you want to orient your um, entries within the mode. And those are the basic functions for the contrast mode within Liquid Story Binder in the updated version of 4.81 so um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments section of the video or post on my blog. This is basically an overview, it's not comprehensive yet since the new version just came out, but we'll have um, more Q&A sessions in the program um, at a later time to expand upon this feature. I'm Rosepels1984 and I'll see you next video.